I'll be back. I hope everyone is having a good summer and staying cool because it is even hot here in Oregon. It's crazy. Um, I realize I haven't made an eBay monthly sales video for you guys in a while. And I like, you know, I like being transparent with you guys and let you know how my sales are going, how the market is doing, and, and so on. So, in this video, I'll go in-depth about my month of June sales, my data, profit numbers, which items I sold, stuff like that. As always, no, it's just me doing everything. I've never had an employee, and I've been doing this as a full-time living for really the past 15 years. And my style hasn't changed throughout. It's always been buy raw and then grade them, mainly through PSA, to maximize the profits. And instead of just looking at my Ricky Bobby hands, I threw up some LeBron James eye candy PC cards of mine for you to look at throughout the video. So overall, I'm happy with my sales over the past three months. It looks like my last 90 days are around 60,000 in sales. And I'm really happy with the last 31 days. Um, the end of June and the start of July have been great. Looks like my last 31 days are around 26,500 in sales. April and May were traditionally, are traditionally lower sale months. And my, my numbers reflected that at probably around 17, 18,000 in sales for those months. But June and July, like I said, are usually good months because people are gearing up for the national. Uh, grading companies are usually having nice grading specials, so I'm getting lots and lots of new cards graded, which means new inventory, which means greater sales. Looks like this year alone, so far, I've made 140000 in sales, but keep in mind that's before everything is taken out. That's, that's gross. I'll discuss actual profit for at least the month of June later in this video, but the point I'm trying to make is that uh, you know, I'm not going anywhere in this hobby. I, I have a strong, you guys know, I have a strong passion for all of this. I work diligently and hard. Uh, and, you know, years on this earth matter. And I've been, I've been around. Uh, you know, surviving the ups and downs is in my blood. So expect content for a long time to come. And I'd even say that my business right now is picking up steam. And I think I can continue to grade cards at a bigger scale now going forward. All right, let's just go ahead and look at June. So before I crunch the numbers, I always like to share the ultimate winning card of the month of June that had the highest sold percent increase. And that was actually a non-sports card this month. It was this Splinter Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles card. Um, it's a kind of a sticker card and I think it was a pop one. The cost was pretty much nothing. Bought it back in the day probably for a quarter, who knows. So I'll just include the grading fee, kind of what I paid. So we'll say, we'll say 16 bucks. And I went ahead and I sold it for $137. So plug that in, that's a percent increase of 756%. So pretty crazy and fun to see. All right, let's go ahead and dive into the June numbers. It looks like I sold a total of 233 cards at an average of $102 per card. I feel like that number is usually around 80 or 90 bucks a card. So I'm thinking I sold a bigger Tiger Woods Auto in this month, so it may have skewed it a little bit. You can see those numbers are up from June of last year, which is what I entered to compare it against. All right, let's go ahead and look at the total gross sales for the month. And that total was around $23,870. And it looks like, wow, it was up nearly 50% from June of last year. And it looks like the net sales were 18817 And that's kind of where it deducts the 16.2 eBay sales fee um, and their taxes collected by eBay. That actually that no, that number kind of concerns me a little bit. That sixteen point two, I think that is sneakily an increase. If I remember correctly, it was thirteen point six fees in my last video I made just three months ago. Uh, that's you know that's a significant increase um, that I'm gonna have to look into a little bit. You know why and when did they up that fee? All right, so now the important number in my opinion 
Let's go ahead and find the actual profit. Take out the amount I actually have invested in all of these cards, you know, grading fees included. So what I did as I added up what I had into each card I sold in June, and that number came out to be $14,125. So from that number, I can estimate the actual profit. You know, take that 18,817 minus 14,125, and that equals 4,692. Uh, not bad, but actually that number seems pretty low for me compared to my normal months. Uh, and I think there is a partial reason why. As you know, I decided to grade probably around a thousand cards total uh, this last month or two with PSA. So I needed grading fee money. So my mindset was to dump, sell cards quickly for kind of less profit or equal what I paid or even take a loss just to create liquidity to grade fresh cards, get that new inventory going. And so far, I've been really happy with the grades on these orders from PSA. So I think so far, it's definitely worth it. Also, I, I'm probably dumping or selling a lot of cards. I paid higher prices during the COVID boom that I kind of just want to get rid of, not think about anymore. So that kind of skews it a little bit also. Now we can figure out the profit margin from that last number. And that looks like it was about 25%. So definitely lower than I want it to be. My goal each month is usually around 50%. And usually I come close to that each month. Uh, I think that just shows that, that I did what I had to do to get that grading fee money. All right. So now I'm going to give you just one more number. It is the percent I submitted myself out of the cards for the month I sold. And that number was 80%. So what I'm saying is that of the cards I sold, how many were cards that I actually submitted myself? So it looks like there was 187 cards out of the 233 cards sold were submitted and graded myself. Okay. So let's just go ahead and move on to the next part. It's where I quickly scroll through each card that I sold. So you kind of get a good feel of which cards are selling well or which cards I'm kind of making the most profit on or which cards I'm losing money on. So here you go. All right, here we go. We're going to start with the Hillary Clinton. I think I bought it for like 35 and ended up selling it for 45 so not much profit there. If you see a line through the green, that means I accepted even less than it says right there. So and I usually accept 10 to 25% off usually of that price. We got some Tom Brady, Deshaun Watson. I actually think he's going to start the year hot for the Browns. Some Ricky Rubio. I love that 2009 Stephen Curry set. Um, but you know, Rubio probably down to, I sold the Brown 45 bucks. The Giannis Monopoly, I don't mind selling Monopoly. I don't see a long-term value there from Monopoly. It's such, such mass produced. Probably sold it for 45, 50. The Aqua Griffey, great looking card. Probably sold for around 32. That Hollow LeBron, a little bit undergraded. The SB Jeter, I didn't grade that one. I, I think I bought it for like 90 bucks and sold it for 105 so not much profit, but that's okay. The Aaron Rodgers, that black roof factor was nice. Uh, it was a PSA 8. I cracked it out because it looked so much nicer. I ended up getting a 10, so probably like a 70 80 buck profit on that one. Zedrunas was a good profit there, probably 50 bucks. Uh, the Kobe SGC 9.5. Some Anthony Edwards, full price on that one, 65 bucks for the PSA 10. Tim Brown was a quick flip. I think I bought it for 10, already graded, and sold it for 20. I love that year of SBX 2005. This is the Kobe PSA 10, probably sold for around 72. The Dominator sold quick for the Griffey. I think it was around 40. Um, we got the Baker Mayfield. That was a nice sale. I think I bought it for 140. Ended up selling for two sixty. Some Dave Stewart that was sharp. That sold in a couple hours for thirty bucks. Justin Verlander, some Shea. I thought that was an overgrade, so I had no problem selling that one. Quentin Nelson. 
Matthew Stafford. I love golds. You know that. Number out of 50. Sold it for 72 or 70, somewhere around there. Caitlin Clark stuff still sells really well. I mean, she's having a great rookie season. Love that Marshall Falk. That was undergraded. Uh, the DeJounte Murray, that one, he had a little price spike when he moved to the Pelicans, so that one sold. I probably lost money. If you see a silver prism, I probably lost money on it. Um, I think I probably paid 120 125 at the time. Uh, Jared Goff, lost money there. You can see I sold it for less than the, the grading fee. Got an 8 on it, should have been higher. Some Randy Moss. So you're going to see some vintage. I graded the Yaunt. It, it was terrible, but I got a two. Uh, I ended up selling for $32. I didn't have much into it. Just the grading free fee, pretty much. CD Lamb. That was a nice sale for probably around 100 for the uh, orange laser. Jason Williams. That wasn't nice enough to grade. Quick flip. Probably made 15 bucks. The Jalen McDaniels is sold. The Randy Johnson. Stefan Diggs probably broke even on that one. Anderson Verjao, Gold Prisms. Uh, Matt Ryan had a little uh, price spike. I'm not quite sure why. I need to read the news on Matt Ryan. Sold one of his refractor rookies. I think I got 150 out of that PSA 10 refractor. Jason Elam sold pretty quick. The Devonte Adams. You know, I had that card for like three years. <laughs> it finally sold. Uh, I don't know. It didn't have much interest. Um, it was numbered out of 10. It's almost like an XRC, 2013. Ended up selling for 175 I believe. I think I originally bought it probably 60 bucks back in the day, probably five years ago. Uh, Julius Peppers sold quick. The Hardaway Beam Team 9 sold for 47 I believe. The Richard Lewis, someone's building that X-Fractor set, so I'm happy. You know, those are great profits. Probably profit almost 100 bucks on that. Uh, Jamal Mashburn, sad to see that one go. Khalil Mack, 10. These Tiger Woods, Victory March, have uh, been selling pretty well. Could be the image, wearing his Sunday red. Jamar Chase, Sparkle, I like the look of those playbook sparkles. Some more Matt Ryan. Russell Westbrook, cards like that I probably just broke even on. Um, There was a really bad black refractor grade, the Allen Iverson, sadly. Uh, let's see, Bo Jackson. They sell well. That's those supplementals. Even the nines sell quick at forty bucks. That was kind of a sad one to see let go. The uh, Carmelo Anthony X Fractor. So I'm not building. I'm building most sets in that 2003 top scrum, but not the X Fractor set. I just don't like how they were, kind of like a box topper. Um, they you couldn't pull them in packs. They were just uncirculated, one on top per box. So anyway, I probably bought that one around covid peak times for around a thousand dollars ended up selling it for 650 i believe so took a loss there but i looked at it where you know i needed money i wanted to buy the black carmelo refractor and that was around 550 so i would rather have the black than the refractor. that's kind of how i looked at it uh jamal murray uh silver psa 10 um, that one was a BGS 9.5 crack out, so I made some good money there, at least a hundred buck profit on that one. Some Aaron Rodgers second year, I have a lot of those, so I had no problem selling that. I think I took lower, probably around 50 bucks on that one. Some, some more vintage, some Ray Allen's, took a loss on that Ray Allen. Johnny Damon, that was a great looking card. Some Lorcana, some Moana. Um, DeAndre Hopkins, I probably lost a little bit there. I think I bought it for 50 raw, so I had to grade it with SGC. Mm, some LeBron, some Stefan Diggs. It's good to see, um, my PSA 8s, the, the cards I kind of fail on grading. They actually sell pretty well. Uh, it's probably because I don't care about them too much, so I price them pretty low and they, they sell quick. Um, the Mike Evans was a nice profit, probably around 70 bucks on that profit. Some CJ McCollum, I took I took less on those. I way down. I think they're down to forty or forty five bucks. Some Lillard optic at ten took around seventy on that. Some more Lorcana. Oh, I, I'm a little sad about that Jordan All NBA PSA eight is actually a great grade on that card. I, I think I ended up selling it for eighty. Um, I, I would have liked to held that one longer. I think I could have got a hundred eventually, but. Just needed some grading theme money. Joe Sackick. 
Um, some Vince Carter. This is second year Bazooka comics, and it they still sell really well for the LeBron James. They sell for around eighty bucks. Um, even his rookie year ones only hundred forty, so not that much more. So Jerry Sloan, DeAndre Hopkins, that Burger King Reggie Jackson was cool. Some Iverson, Iverson, Iverson market's been pretty hot lately. And I think 76ers should have a good upcoming season. So I think Iverson will get even more love. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, SGC. I find that SGC vintage sells pretty well. George Brett. Some Iverson. So you see some SGC sales on here. The Buster Posey was a nice profit. The Anthony Richardson disco was nice too. Sold it for 92 Bought it five, 5 or 10 bucks at a card show. It's more sap. There's that great looking Nolan Ryan that sold quick, probably within five hours of listing it for around a hundred bucks. But you know, I was only into it pretty much the grading fee, so kind of had to do it. Some John Elway, some Star Wars, some Luca. I went ahead and sold his stuff while he's playing well during the playoffs. Strike while the iron's hot. Job Morant, probably taking a loss. I used to buy those for two hundred. I'm selling them for around 142 now. On the silvers, that's okay though. Here's the the sad one. Um, I accepted the I think it was about 2900 offer. I bought it for around 2750, so it's almost like a break even. I might even lost 50 or 100 bucks because of the seller's fee, eBay seller fee. So that's okay. That made a good chunk of my grading fee. It, it was worth it, and hopefully down the road I can buy another one back or the kind of the same one um the udonis haslam that, that was a nice profit um pretty much only into it the grading fee sold for 120 the jalen brown the seller <laughs> returned it which is fine it's just a, it's kind of annoying when they do that they say you know the reason is they couldn't afford it money issues well, you shouldn't have bought it in the first place um, some Vince Carter, Tom Seaver, some Johnny Bench, Doug Williams. That's a nice rookie card. Derwin James. That was a quick flip. I think I bought it already graded as a ten for twenty five or thirty bucks. The Jalen Brunson I actually lost a little bit on. I think I bought it for one hundred and thirty, and then grading fee and sold it for one hundred twenty. The Howie Long was a good profit, but sad to see go. That's a card I would have liked keeping for a long time. It was a one on one black finite. Uh, I think I bought it for 105 raw, graded it, and then um, ended up selling for around 275. So I probably made 125 bucks on it. There's a Montana, the Dwight Howard, probably sold that for 150. Love seeing the Marvel masterpiece sell because I'm not into it much and I don't care about them too much anymore. The Damian Lillard, a little sad to see that go, but it was a nice, nice chunk there i probably bought it for 500 and sold it for 750 um somewhere around there some tom brady aaron judd's judge stuff starting to heat up quentin nelson trevor story i was surprised that sold uh pj washington uh that bradley beal that i messed up on i uh i just thought it would grade higher and i double graded it Anyway, I surprisingly it sold for that amount, and I almost broke even on it. The Lamar Jackson was probably a hundred dollar profit at least. CD Lamb was close to breaking even. Probably bought it for one hundred eighty. Sold it for two hundred. Some Pujols, some Charizard, Carmelo. That was a, probably a seventy five dollar profit on that one. I bought it raw for five bucks. Some Patrick Queen, the Trey Young. Oh. I took a loss there for sure. I bought some of his stuff towards the end of the boom. I don't know. It was incredible price jump on Trey Young. I just, I think I have four of them, so I just sold one of them off um, for the 240 Jalen Brown, Starburst, that was nice. I made good profit off Jalen Brown, probably over overall $1,000. I bought a lot of his stuff before the playoffs because I had a feeling Celtics would win, so... The Starburst I probably made a hundred bucks on. The Silver I probably made two hundred bucks on. Um, some Ryan Leaf, Jalen Green, the Aqua, Caitlin Clark. It's sad to see that go. I love the look of the Aqua, but probably over a hundred dollars profit on that. I had to do it. 
Um, the Marvin Williams probably broke even. The blue LeBron James, that was a nice profit. I think it sold for 120 Um, Probably made 100 buck profit on that. The Becky Hammond at 10 bought for 50 sold for 70 so not much there. Uh, this Chris Webber, now that's a good sale and a really sad one. Overall, this is probably the one I'm most sad about um, because I am building the set. And PSA 10s are hard to come by. Uh, I think, but the profit was too great. It was just one of those where you just kind of had to do it. Um, I think I was into it about 160 overall and sold it for 650. So it's just such a good profit there. But I am sad about that one. Sam Laporte, that was a great profit, profit too. But stuff like the Kobe Prism, I probably bought for 60 bucks. Probably lost money there. If you see Prisms or Silver Prisms, I lost money on. Um... Some Joe Montana electricity, that was a good profit. The vintage is almost close to breaking even too, probably. Um, yeah, we're cruising. Some Steve Nash, Chris Stapp stuff sold while he was playing well in the playoffs. There's that triple. I am sad about that, uh, the Mahomes. But I ended up selling it for, I think it was around 1650 somewhere around there. And I bought it for around 1200 So it was just like a... Three hundred, four hundred dollar profit, nothing huge, but hey, yeah, I'll take it. There's that splinter card, <laughs> yeah, sold for one forty and pretty much only grain fee into it. Um, Tyler Eifert, that was a cool card. Uh, probably bought it for thirty five, sold it for sixty. Um, the PJ Washington, Chris Stabs, that Tom Brady Blue Wave was a nice profit, probably around seventy bucks. Freddie Freeman just probably made ten bucks. The Roquan probably broke even. The Freddie Freeman I probably lost twenty bucks on. I ended up selling it for three hundred. Probably bought it for three ten. Uh, Lorcana, some Iversons. That was my last Iverson ten, I believe. The Taylor Thomas I got lost money on. The Travis Kelsey was a nice profit. Probably into it two twenty and sold it for that. Um, the J Love was a good profit. Probably made eighty bucks on that one. Yeah, so I, I did okay, but those silvers I lost money on. The Carmelo probably broke even on that refractor. Mm, yeah, I think we're almost done. The Dominique Wilkins, that was a cool card. Bright bought it for around 45 sold it for 60 so not much profit there. The Tredavious White was a quick flip. Bought it raw for 40 bucks as a one on one. Ended up selling it right away for 100, 120 So, Shea second year. Yeah, some more Trevor stories. Be interesting to see what Red Sox do with Trevor Story. Injuries, man, sad. I thought he was gonna be really good. Uh, Hank Aaron, some vintage, vintage. All the vintage are pretty much breaking even or losing five bucks on. Um, there's that Jimmy Butler. That's a nice sale. It's probably into it five or six hundred though, and sold it for around a thousand, I believe. And there you go. That was some June sales. Uh, again, I appreciate you watching. I hope you found this um, kind of helpful. See what was selling. Um, I'll be back with a huge reveal on Tuesday. We'll start of my massive 140 card reveals. And uh, I'm excited to share the results with you guys. All right. Hope you're all doing well. And I will see you.